Amos 5 verse 18 and it reads one to you that desire the day of the Lord to what end is it for you the day of the Lord is darkness and not light all praises all power all glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai Bahashem Rakah Kodash Yahweh being the name of the Father who the world in recalls God Yahweh meaning he exists Bahashem, meaning in the name Yahawashai, who the world angry calls JC, aka Caesar Borgia, aka Serapis Christos. His name is Yahawashai, meaning he delivers Yahi Hawashai, deliverer. Bahashem in the name, Rakaha Kodash, Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles. And elders of Great Millstone who teach well and rule well who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. And to the Akwath listening, the Akwathium listening and learning, in silence, Shalom. It's your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin Camp here in Toronto with another lesson. And uh, this, uh, article on Daily Mail Syrians knelt and prayed fearing it was judgment day when 7.8 magnitude earthquake hit as buildings collapse around them wreaking destruction worse than anything during the civil war right so by now it's, it's common news that Syria and Turkey got touched with an earthquake a 7.8 magnitude earthquake and uh, last I looked uh they're saying 3,000 plus dead so far and thousands of buildings collapsed, right? But what stood out was, uh, it says here, the Syrians knelt and prayed, fearing it was judgment, right? Right, so some, of the, some of these Ishmaelites, they understand how the Lord is coming, Right? They have a sense, an understanding of how the Lord is coming. Amos 5 verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh. Right, you wacky tacky Christians out there, man. You Baptists, you Presbyterians, you Lutherans, you Protestants, you, you Seventh-day Adventists, you RCCs, right? The first thing, uh, the first thing a, a Protestant or, or, or SD Seventh-day Adventist or, or a Baptist tells you, they can't wait for the day of the Lord. Right? To what end is it for you? Right? Because these, these wacky tackies think the Lord's coming with, with outstretched arms, giving out prizes for best behaved, for, 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 for best behaved student. And, 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 you know? But it says here, to what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness on and not light, right? It's not a nice thing. The day of the Lord is going to be dark. Right? Right. Leading up into it, thousands upon thousands upon thousands are going to die. Upon thousands. And it's only his elect going to be delivered in that day. Lord willing, we're of that number. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, Right? This is how the day of the Lord is, man. If you were running from a lion and you got away and now a bear mauled you or went into the house, got away from the bear, you ran into a house, okay, I'm safe now, and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him, right? So you got away from the bear, you ran into a house, closed the door, you're leaning on a wall, catching your breath, and a serpent bit you. Right, the day of the Lord is going to be calamity after calamity after calamity. Shall not the day of the Lord, Yahweh, be darkness and not light? Even very dark and no brightness in it? Right, so the Lord's not coming on some nice guy thing. It's not going to be a bright, sunny day with, 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 with choir singing, oh happy day. Right, these Ishmaelites, we read it. These Ishmaelites are saying they knelt and prayed, fearing it was judgment day, man. Right? What is it saying? Uh, 
is a revelation. Revelation 11. This is the, this is an account this is the day of the Lord. Revelation 11 verse 12. And they heard a great voice, a matter of fact. Revelation 11 verse 11. And after 3 days and a half, right? The 3 days and a half is 350 year period. The spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, the Israelites. Right? Beginning with Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Right, the truth came, the, the truth went to Judah first. Right, 350 years is the time period of slavery. Right, at the end of that time period, the spirit of life entered into Israelites. Right, the truth came out of the truth. The truth began with 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 our, with, with, with Abba Bivens. Right, the truth came out of one West. Right, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them. So. That was returning to our heritage, remembering who we are. And they stood upon their feet, right? Because they got that, the, the Rakah Kodash. And great fear fell upon them, which saw them, right? All these other nations, beginning with Amalek, great fear fell upon them, which saw the, 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 the Israelites remembering themselves, rehearsing the righteous acts. Verse 12, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. This is the deliverance. The come up hither is the beaming up into the chariots, which is the ships. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, right? The cloud being the chariots. Ascended up. This is the elect. And their enemies beheld them. All other nations are going to witness this. Everyone's going to see this deliverance. Wisdom of Solomon 5 verse 1 says, uh, matter of fact, let's just get it before I butcher it. Wisdom of Solomon 5. Verse 1 it reads. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. Before the face of such as afflicted him. Right. And this is the prophets prophesying. Standing on the street corners. Prophesying. Lifting up the banner. Pointing the finger. Exposing Esau Edom. Right. Before the face of such as afflicted him. Right. Who afflicted us? Who afflicted Israelites? Beginning with Esau Edom, the main, the chief offender, and made no account of his labors, right? America the Great, Babylon the Great is built on slavery. The blood of the saints, northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. Verse 2, here's the point. When they see it, these other nations, they shall be troubled with terrible fear, right? When they see the, when they see Yasharala returning to themselves, and when they see the deliverance of Yasharala. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation, right? They're going to be amazed at these ships beaming up Israelites so far beyond all that they looked for. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom he had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. Right. This, this, that's the, is that nigga? That spick, that wet back? They're God's chosen. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. How is he numbered among the children of the Most High and his lot among the saints? Right? So they're going to be amazed at the deliverance. Verse 13, here's the point. And the same hour was there a great earthquake. That earthquake is, is, is the missiles. Right? We read that... Uh, the Ishmaelites knelt and prayed when the earthquake touched Turkey and Syria because they thought it was judgment, judgment day, man. Right? And the tenth part of the city fell. The tenth part of the city is America. Right? Ten FEMA zones, ten barcode zones. And in the earthquake, the missiles were slain of men. 7,000, a complete amount of people, a complete amount of men are going to die. And the remnant, who is the one-third and the one-four-four, the one-four-four being the governing body, the one-third being the, the, the body of believers, right? And the remnant, who is the elect, 
we're affrighted, right? Because this deliverance is going to be a scarcely be saved event. Right? Barely made it. The, 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 the chariots are going to drop his elect. Come up hither. Simultaneously, the missiles are going to be touching America the Great, Babylon the Great. Right? The elect and the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the power of heaven, right? The, the elect are going to be in those ships praising Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. Kala la Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. Kala la Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. Right? It's going to be, we, we, Lord willing, we're of that number. But the elect are going to be saying, we made it. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. Right? But yeah, I pray you edified. I don't want to write to Shalom to the hopeful elect.